as good a job as Dan Campbell has done, and you cannot put a price tag on the job that he's done. I know this isn't going to be a popular opinion, but it is 100% the correct opinion. If you're talking to me about coach of the year, I tell you Kevin Stefanski, and I have no problem saying that. None, zero, zilch. And that is not a slight against Dan and what he's done. I think Dan is more of a, I don't know, lifetime achievement award. If you're talking about the coach of this year, with what Stefanski has had to deal with in Cleveland, and in essence pulling Joe Flacco out of the old folks' home. I, oh, oh! You see, Joe Flacco fell asleep on the sideline. He, t- <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he tired. <laughs> he was like me when I watch a, a Thursday night game. I'm sleeping about ten o'clock. That's about the time he was like, "Oh man, Are they still playing." And it's, you know, I know, I know how people are. People that is not a slight against Dan. You can't put a price tag on what he's done the last few years. You really can't. You know this better than anybody, Terry. You've been dealing with the culture of this team longer than I have. You cannot put a price tag on what he's done. But how do you how do you argue with Stefanski right now? I'm going to argue it. Oh, I can't wait. Yes, I, I got the trump card you didn't think of. All right, it's well, the Detroit Lions. Well, anybody who can turn the Detroit Lions around. Should be coach of the year, GM of the year, player of the year. Porch of the year. uh, Porch of the year, (laughs) owner of the year, all that kind of stuff. Now, what you said about Stefanski is correct. And if you are a rational thinking person, you would be right. If if I was a rational thinking person, you know what I would do? I would just end this argument and say, Sean, you got me. I'm going to shut my mouth up. But I'm not because I'm a little bit of an ass. It's the Detroit Lions you're turning around. 313 and 1. 0 and 16 back in the day. No playoff wins since the 90s. Bad culture, bad players, bad management. And Dan Campbell changed the culture. Um, he got the right coaches, he's got the right players, he's got Brad Holmes. I would still make him coach of the year 